Um, I don't think I already demonstrated this one in this class, although I do get sort of confused. I teach a lot of workshops, <laughs> and I do feel like I've done this before, but I think not in this class, as far as I can tell. So uh, if you, I found out if you have the Windows 10 machine we're using, it has everything you need installed, but it doesn't. it's missing one link to make Python run from the command line, so you do have to execute a couple commands if you're using our Windows 10 machine. If you're using another machine, you'll have to install Ollie Debug and... Uh, and Python. But anyway, then you get Minesweeper, and what I did was I took the Windows XP Minesweeper and I modified it a bit in HXD to make this thing for you to play with. So I called it MindSAM, and I've already downloaded it on this machine. And so Minesweeper is a game here where you, um, in fact, I think I might be able to make it bigger. Let me give it a shot. If I make a shortcut to it, I might be able to like run it in 640 by 480. Let's see if that works. I think that worked in previous classes. Um, yep. There. And now when I say, there we are. Now it's nice and big to see. All right. So the point up. Oh, oh, I have to turn off VMware tools. Okay, I remember this now. I have to go to services. Because VMware tools will undo it. So if I turn off VMware tools and then run it in 640 by 480, I can make it easier for people to see. Um, there, VMware tools, stop. Okay. Now, launch this thing in 640 by 480. There. And now don't compensate. Ah, there we are. There. Now you can see it. All right, so the point of Minesweeper is you can guess where mines are. This tells you one of these has a mine. That tells you one of these has a mine. So it's one of those two and therefore not this one. You can sort of use logic to dig your way through. And now this means one of them has it, so none of these. This is the game. You use logic to figure out where the mines are. But we're going to cheat, of course, is the point. So you can play the game by just using these numbers, but what's more fun is to cheat. So um, run it in Ollie Debug. And I get that there. Let's get good old Ollie. And I don't need administrator rights, but I am going to make it bigger. And I'm going to move my instructions to the side. All right, and make this as big as I can. Yes. Oh, I probably need to turn VMware tools back on again. All right, let's try that. It won't let me change the aspect ratio of the screen, of course, because I turned off VMware tools. There we go. Yeah, now I should be able to adjust things more. Okay, so Ollie. All right. And now Minesweeper. Downloads. Minesam. Minesam. Okay, and it's a little bit confused, which I remember I've done this before when I do that trick with the uh, 640 by 480. It tends to get a little confused, but it's working now. All right, so here you see the code, and now we can look at the memory segments with view memory. All right, and there's here's the segments for MindSpam. It has text, data, and resource. And here's the PE header. So that's pretty normal. And um, all right, so we want to look at the data line and dump it. OK, so here's the contents of the data memory. 
and we're going to scroll down to 153.40. We're at 52A0. Here's 53.40, okay? And it's all zeros, this area near 53.40 right now, okay? So now, uh, let's run the game a little bit. So we go back to the CPU window and maximize it to get to our normal view and then run. Down here it says paused, so we hit run. And now it's running. I might say paused and require you to hit run twice, but this time it only made me click run once. Okay, now there should be a Minesweeper window here. Okay. And uh, click a cell. All right, so now it's got a display here with some ones and cells. And now we can go look at that dump window. And you see now there's a bunch of data in here. And now if you compare that to the board of Minesweeper, you can see the pattern. It's, oh, you got to be a little careful there. So Minesweeper has a corner up here that's cut out. And the ats appear to, there's two rows with three dots. The ats appear to be cells that are clear. The a's are cells that have one. And so you can see there's a, a graph here that matches pretty obviously one to one with the board. So by looking in RAM, you can see the board and you can also see where the mines are because you see um, all the letters here. There's an 8F, I think that's probably a mine. In fact, there should be a mine here. Anyway, let me see. I think I give you yeah, A for one, B for two, as shown below. And uh, that's the game. So then what we're going to do is just dump this out with proc dump and make a Python script that will interpret it. So let me get proc dump is already here on these machines in C tools. And uh, we can automate this thing with Python. So um, let, I think we're done with Ollie for the moment. Let's go here and find, can I run proc dump from anywhere? I can. Good. I added C tools to the path. This is great. Okay. So I can run it from anywhere. And therefore, what I need to do is be in the same area where um, Minesweeper is, I think. So I'm going to go into Downloads and then Minesam. All right. Here's where Minesam.exe is. So I'm going to make a file called cheat.py. And in there, I'm going to put this code from this instructions here. All right, this is a simple Python 2.7 script to cheat. There. So what this does, it imports the library OS so I can use system commands. And now it um, does proc dump to dump from the running Minesweeper and create a file called mine.dump, which is going to be the memory that we were just looking at in Ollie Debug. This is a Windows Sys internal tool. You can just dump the memory process of any, any, um, any allocated memory segments of any running process. And we're using it a lot in the 152 class for incident response. You can examine a running process and look at the memory to decide if it's a malicious process or not. So this is going to dump it in a file. Then we're going to find a mark. And the mark of the game board is this. This, I think, is the uh, pattern of bytes that is the edge of the board. And so then it's going to open this file and read until it finds that pattern of bytes. And then it's just going to print the bytes after it, looking for the uh, mines, which is 8F. That's the game. So. Let me save this. And now, um, OK. So you have to have Minesweeper running, of course, for this to work. So let me launch it again. Um, come on. OK, downloads, Minesham, Minesham. All right, there it's running. And I've, of course, confused my poor uh, machine about what size I want it to be, but all right, there we are. There's Minesweeper. And in order to have some pattern or something to see, 
I'd like to drag it to the side, but it's not letting me do it. I have to cancel this. All right, well, I'll drag this one to the side. That one won't move for some reason. All right, there, I clicked the cell. So now there's something there. And now I think I can just run the cheat program. Yep, just Python cheat, okay. Python. All right, so I dumped the memory and look there, now it is printed out. See, there's the one I made. And there's the mine is at the bottom of it. And here's where all the mines are. So now you can cheat. Now I know that the two cells to the left do not have mines and so on. Now I know there's no more mines all the way down this row. So anyway, uh, that's the joy of Minesweeper, cheating. And I just gave you some challenges here to find some flags doing that. So the first thing is solve the beginner level and you'll get a secret word. There was a message that the original game gave you when you won and I was just able to find those messages and change them in the binary. <laughs> so there are uh, flags in there. The secret word is. Then there's, there's the intermediate and advanced level. So to do the intermediate level, you have to create a better cheating tool, modifying the existing cheating tool. And to solve the expert level, you will have to use an entirely different technique. As far as I can tell, there is no cheating tool that's good enough to finish the expert level before you run out of time. So you have to find a different way to find the magic word. But anyway, there's a few challenges to solve with hacking Minesweeper, just as more practice at understanding uh, you know, a binary layout of code and how to mess with it at the assembly level.